Hello, people. Eastern Ontario. It is uh, 12.04. Like I was saying, nice winter day. Nice sunshine. A couple of clouds. Nice and cool. These panels are just great. I saw the those solar panels and those with the snow I'm going to go take off the snow out of it there right away and see the difference the turbines working very well and uh, I'll show you some amp readings so like I was saying it's a nice sunny day panels are uh, picking up the juices all melted cleaning them up this morning except the ones on the roof so we won't get a, an actual meeting reading on the 125s there or the 250s on the roof two 125s but I never had any readings of my um, of my solar panels because my meter just uh, registered the uh, amps from the wind turbine so got myself a little meter here and I say I'm getting some good, uh, well, I think it's not bad. For the first time I can see. Let's arrange this ball. So those two right here are the two one, uh, 125s on the shed roof. But uh, there's a bit of snow on them. Uh, they're 37 volts. They're flexible. And uh, those are the ones individually. Well, they're both of them together. So I'm putting in 7 amps to the batteries with that and like I say uh, the one at the bottom is half covered with snow so I'll go clean it up later on this afternoon and try to update it and it's a partially cloudy it's not bad you know it's a little focus there a couple of clouds in the sky but all in all it's a pretty nice day it's about noon well it is noon <laughs> So those were the 250s. Now these ones are the four sharps. Let's get the four sharps. And the four sharps are feeding the uh, 500 right now. For now, that's the only thing they're doing all the time. And uh, they're cooking in at 14.4 uh, amps. I saw 15 amps, so we'll say 14 amps. And those are four sharps, uh, 123 watts, rated at 17.9 uh, volts. Uh, but they are in um, series parallel, so two of them make a pair. So there's like, uh, anyway, in series parallel. <laughs> so that's what they're giving me for uh, this grid tie right now. And it's putting out right now. 364, 371, so I, I saw going up to 420 today, so at 14 whatever. Now, we've got the 3180s coming into the switch here, those are individual wires, and this ones are putting out 16.2 amps, and this is going to my batteries right now. The switch is on the, the battery banks. If I switch it there, it goes to the other grid tie. You see now it's sleeping. So, But to the battery banks, that's 16.3. From those three 180s, uh, they're rated at 180s, uh, 180 watt, and uh, it is 37 volts. Basically like the flexible one, 37 volts. That's why the 180s and the flexible ones, the 125s, are connected together. And this is the main feed that goes into the charge controller. And right now we're feeding the batteries a total of uh, 23.6 amps. That's going in the batteries. If I go there, it should be the same. That's out of the charge controller to the batteries direct. Well, maybe a little lost, but hey. 23 amps is good enough for me. It's always variable too, so I'm sure I can get a lot more amps, but 
for the sun that we're having today. That's what I'm having today. It's just a basic uh, amperage reading because I did not. Well, I don't think I ever got amperage reading from uh, my uh, my solar panels. I really didn't uh, have this little gadget there. I just bought it. So now if I go <coughs> wake up the other uh, grid tie and say I take amperage reading from here we're basically getting the same thing as uh, we were getting to the batteries 15 to 16 She's waking up there. This is the 600 with the three 180s running to them. 3.4 amps. Let's go see what it jumps to. It jumped to 74. Oh, 772. For the sun that we're having today, you know, it's always it always depends on the great old sun. So, but for now, for today. With a partially cloudy, like I say, partially cloudy uh, day, but nice sun, cold winter. Those are my readings for today. So, put it back on the batteries because in the winter you really need the battery juice. So, back up to twenty three point three for the batteries. So. Nice day. And what is the battery banks right now? Oh, turbine just started. 1.2 amps there. So let's see if uh, we're not getting more amps there. It's like low, low wind today. Very low wind. Those are 13.2 volts at the batteries. 23 amps out of the solar. Let's see if this reading changes directly to the batteries. It did change. It's fluctuating too because of the turbine. There you go, we're getting a, a boost of 3, 4 watts. And then we're getting 27 amps. Those with the solars, you know. Because just the solar, and we're getting 23.3. That's nice to have the turbine spinning there. And then with the turbine, we're at 26. So, uh,. But like I say, there's not much wind there. Five, eight miles an hour wind. I'll go get the anemometer. Well, uh, like I was saying, 5.3 miles an hour. That's not a lot of a... Uh, but, I don't know if I can get all of these in the, the same picture. There you go. Six mile an hour wind. The amp clamps directly out of the charge controller right now, so we're getting the solar and the turbine. Oh, let's see something else. Oh, so like I was saying. <laughs> oh, the turbine just went down there. Almost no wind. So let's see. Okay, so let's plug it back into out of the charge controller to the batteries. Oh, the turbine just uh, really went down there. Oh, it went up to then. Okay, I need... Okay, there it goes. There it goes again. So, 25 amps. That's with the solars there. The three 180s and the two 125s on the roof. The four sharps are always feeding the grid guys. So. A little update on the amps on my solar. Turbine well. At four point six mile an hour and still a little wind today. Anyway, turbine what can I say? Always works flawlessly. And my now at least I can know a bit of amperage with uh, my solar. Okay, thank you YouTube. Later.